Sneakers are a daily necessity, but like people who thoroughly enjoy collecting records, there are people who thrive and collect sneakers. These people are called sneakerheads. They wait in digital lines to buy shoes, spends hundreds and even thousands of dollars every year buying the latest releases. Although small, the sneaker culture has begun to improve. I talked to some sneakerheads at LAHS and asked them about their first sneaker memories and what got them into sneakers. I started kind of following sneakers and I remember watching um, I remember watching Kobe. It was like a year and a half ago. I bought these like white ultra boosts just because I like thought they looked good and I didn't realize how much attention I was gonna get for them. These are actual sneakers. I started getting into the whole sneaker thing around like late sixth or seventh grade. My all-time favorites would be the Wings 12s and any any like OGs, flu games are nice. I think I think it's the Chicago Air Jordan 1, just because it was one of the sneakers that kind of like started it all. Personal favorite, well they're kind of rare, but the Jordan 29 Year of the Goat, they're also called the Year of the Sheep. One of the most important parts of collecting sneakers is understanding what the economy consists of. Every weekend, sneakers release on Saturdays through various websites and stores. Companies will only sell a certain amount of pairs to drive up the so-called hype. For example, take one of the most coveted sneakers of all time, the Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red October. This sneaker was released in 2013 for $245 a pair. But, because the release was so limited, the current retail price for a used pair is around three to four thousand dollars. Buying new gonna cost you at least six grand. Sneakers aren't the cheapest hobby in the world. There are students that do, however, agree that buying shoes is justified. I would say though, like, it's their money, they can spend it how they want. I don't really like when kids kind of just like ask their parents for a whole bunch of different shoes. I like when, like, earning your money and going out and getting something you really want. I think there's a certain point where it's like too much money. As long as you can eat lunch every day. <laughs> yeah. And do, you know, do all the necessities and small things. Needs. Yeah, meet your needs. Buy as many sneakers as you can. LAHS has some sneaker heads. The community is not super strong. I want to see less New Balance and less, <laughs> less like gross Adidas. But less rock I mean, stars. Yeah. I think that I do like the whole sense of communal understanding whether it's clothing or uh, sneakers like everyone appreciating each other just the hate I think needs to die down. I'll be walking through the halls and like you really notice the people that have nice shoes because not a lot of people do. I respect people who like wear their, sh their, wear their shoes to school because like it's kind of adding to that culture. Shoes are not just a hobby for most sneakerheads. It is a lifestyle. Our interviewees have learned some important life skills that go beyond just sneakers. I think taking care of what you own. I'll wait for the next one, so I'll just like save up my money and buy the one that I really want. I really like clothes, and so before when I wasn't really into shoes, like shoes were just like my least favorite part of my outfit. It was like, well, I gotta wear shoes. I still buy my rainbow flip-flops a lot, but since I started getting nicer shoes and wearing nicer shoes, I realize how much it can like add to my appearance. Whatever you may think about sneakerheads, they are here to stay. To look for proof, just look at the new shoe palace opened on the site of the original Apple store in Palo Alto. They may spend their money irrationally, and they may get upset if you step on their kicks. But sneakers are a new lifestyle that is on the rise. Don't step on anyone's shoes, please. This has been Noah Tesfai reporting for the Los Altos High School Talent. Thanks for watching.